When it comes to buying the right products, there's a lot to look out for. That's why today, we've picked and reviewed the five best models for you. And we've ranked them by many different factors, such as price, quality, durability, performance, and more. You can see their prices and find out more information by using the links in the description down below. Let's not waste any more time and get started with the video. We are going to start this list with the best budget option that you can get your hands on. Number 5. Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro the Redmi Note 9 Pro focuses on delivering a value-for-money experience. While the competition pushes the barrier with specs and price, the Redmi Note 9 sticks to its formula of bringing great performance and good enough imaging to a price point that's within the reach of most buyers. The end result is a phone that delivers what it promises, but ends up coming across as a tad boring. The most distinctive and different design element has to be the back panel of the phone. Gone is the gradient, and instead you get a brilliantly glossy pane of Gorilla Glass 5. Like the Redmi Note 8 Pro, the camera module is centrally mounted. The Redmi Note 9 Pro sees the company returning to Qualcomm's Snapdragon platform. While the Note 8 Pro used a MediaTek Helio G90T, this time around the phone sports a Snapdragon 720G. The chipset sports a combination of two Cryo 465 Gold cores as well as six Cryo 465 Silver cores. Xiaomi pioneered the trend of slapping a large 4000 mAh batteries in phones, and the Note 9 Pro takes it a step forward. This time around, the phone has a 5020 mAh battery, and that's more than enough for a long day of heavy use and then some. Part of the reason Xiaomi manages to keep hardware prices low is its inclusion of software services and ads in the operating system. The quad camera setup includes an 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, as well as a rather questionable 5 megapixel macro sensor. The primary shooter this time around, however, is a 48-megapixel Samsung GM2 sensor. This is in contrast to the 64-megapixel camera in the previous model. Interestingly enough, Xiaomi has introduced an even higher tier called the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max that sports the 64-megapixel sensor as well as faster charging speeds. There's something for everyone, and the Redmi Note 9 Pro finds itself fending for itself against an increasing array of quality mid-range smartphones. Overall, it's a decent gaming phone that comes at a very reasonable price. This next model has the best performance on the list, and it's worth checking out. Number 4. OnePlus 7 Pro There's plenty to like about the OnePlus 7 Pro with a premium glass and metal design, a sharper notch-free display, a pop-up selfie camera, a faster and more responsive in-display fingerprint sensor, and a triple camera system on the rear. The OnePlus 7 Pro has more than enough going for it to earn its Pro name. Looking at the OnePlus 7 Pro, I can't help but feel like the phone's on the generic side. The frame is still made of durable metal and the rear from glass, but the new 6.67-inch notch-free display – more on this later – is a carbon copy of the screen Samsung's been using on its Galaxy phones for years. It also doesn't help that Huawei's Mate and P-Series phones also sport screens with sides that curve into the frame. Once again, the OnePlus 7 Pro doesn't come with any IP water or dust resistance, though the body is splash resistant and the pop-up selfie camera is moisture and dust proof. The 6.67-inch fluid AMOLED screen is noticeably bigger than the OnePlus 6T's 6.28-inch display and has no notch. It's also got a higher QHD Plus 3120 by 1440 resolution with a pixel density of 516 ppi, goodbye 1080p resolution, and filters out blue light to reduce eye fatigue. While the 90Hz refresh rate is low-key, it's my favourite new screen feature, most people will probably care more that it doesn't have a notch or hole punch cut out. Oxygen OS 9, a lightly optimised version of stock Android 9 Pie, is even more fluid and responsive than it is on the OnePlus 6T, no doubt thanks to the phone's powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chip and a bountiful amount of RAM – 6, 8 or 12 gigabytes. The OnePlus 7 Pro boasts a handful of cameras, there's a 16 megapixel f2.0 aperture pop-up camera and three more shooters on the back. This cluster of cameras consists of a 48 megapixel regular wide-angle main camera at f1.6, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens at f2.4 and a 16 megapixel ultra wide-angle lens at f2.2. It does an amazing job when it comes to games too. 
Instead of merely mimicking its competitors, the company is signaling with the OnePlus 7 Pro it's ready to lead with features such as cutting-edge full-screen 90Hz display, fast in-display fingerprint reader, and pop-up camera that you won't find on an iPhone or Samsung Galaxy. This next model has the best-looking display out there. So if you like vivid and realistic colors, this one is for you. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra This phone delivers a flawless camera, 5G connectivity, performance specs enough for a laptop, a great battery life, a 120Hz refresh rate on the display, and a lot more. However, it's one of the most expensive phones I've ever seen, so it's not for everyone. Compared to its predecessor, the Galaxy S20 Ultra doesn't look different. It has the same design as the Galaxy Note 10, it has curved edges on the screen and the back, and the display is near to the edge of the metal. It adopts the Infinity O hole on the front for its front selfie camera. On the back, it has an aggressive rectangular camera array, and I can't say that it has the best design I've ever seen. Samsung is the biggest phone screen supplier in the world, and of course its phones have the best screens. The Galaxy S20 Ultra has a 6.9-inch display with a 20 to 9 tall aspect ratio with a 3400 by 1440 resolution. It also has 120Hz resolution which delivers a super smooth content. The brightness is also amazing and I think that this screen delivers one of the most pleasing viewing experiences. For performance, it's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor that delivers better performance than most. To top that off, it has a whopping 16GB of RAM and 512GB of storage, making it have more power than a laptop, which makes this phone one of the best gaming Android phones in the market. The 5000 mAh cell keeps it powered at all times. Looking at its camera array, the Galaxy S20 Ultra has a lot going on with it. It has a 108 megapixel sensor for tons of detail, 10 times lossless zoom, and 100 times digital space zoom to deliver a pleasant performance overall. I particularly like the autofocus performance, which was extremely fast overall. If you want a super detailed performance, this is it. But then again, if you're interested solely in photography, for that price you can buy a great DSLR or mirrorless system. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. Asus ROG Phone 2 It costs a lot of money to unlock the potential of this phone, but there are quite a few things that I like about the device on its own. It has three USB-C ports, one on its bottom and two joined together along its side. Two of them can be used to charge the phone, while the other is exclusively for Asus's accessories, and it's marked orange to indicate that. It's thoughtful of Asus, especially since this is primarily a gaming phone, to mount a USB-C charge port in a place that won't distract you while you're playing games in landscape mode. The Asus ROG Phone 2 continues to sport an industrial look, just like the first version, but it's a bit more tame this time around. The size ROG Phone 2 is both bigger and heavier than its predecessor, making it one of the heaviest phones we've held in a while. It's very thick at 9.48mm and weighs a whopping 240 grams. The weight isn't a big issue when using it in the landscape orientation with both hands, but normal one-handed usage gets fatiguing quickly. Everything looks fantastic on the ROG Phone 2's large 6.6-inch 1080x2340 HDR OLED screen. It has a 120Hz refresh rate, which allows for smooth in-motion visuals and seamless scrolling. The ROG Phone 2 is a powerhouse when it comes to performance. PUBG Mobile runs flawlessly with all of the graphical settings pushed to their limits, though unfortunately this title is locked at 60Hz. Battery life is equally impressive, and not just because of the massive capacity. In our battery loop test, the 6000 mAh battery lasted for around 11 hours and 48 minutes, with the screen set to 120Hz, and 14 hours and 13 minutes at 60Hz. The rear sensors on the ROG Phone 2 are the same as those on the Asus 6Z. This phone is missing the laser autofocus sensor, but everything else seems to be identical. The main 48 megapixel camera uses the Sony IMX586 sensor with an f1.79 aperture and PDAF, but no optical stabilization. The second camera uses a wide angle lens with a 13 megapixel sensor. The Asus ROG Phone 2 is a solid piece of hardware and is definitely the most polished and impressive gaming phone we've seen so far. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. Asus ROG Phone 3 The Asus ROG Phone 3 may not be as powerful as the upcoming PS5 or Xbox Series X, but it's a heck of a lot more practical. 
think about it. The first thing I noticed about the ROG Phone 3 is that it's enormous. The phone itself is 6.7 inches long, which will surely try even the deepest pockets. It's also quite heavy at 8.5 ounces. Carrying it around can be a pain, almost literally, and it's not easy to hold for long periods of time, for the heat as much as for the weight, but we'll get to that. While the fan enables some cool features and it's downright necessary to play demanding games at higher settings, I found myself less thrilled with the device than I'd hoped. First off, the fan can be a real pain to connect and disconnect between the hard-to-remove rubber plug, extendable clamp and very tight kickstand. The Asus ROG Phone 3 features a 6.6-inch 2340x1080 AMOLED screen, which supports frame rates up to 144Hz. In terms of brightness, the screen can get up to 419 nits under ordinary circumstances and up to 646 nits with automatic brightness on. With three powerful rear cameras and one high-res front camera, the Asus ROG Phone 3 doesn't skimp on picture quality. At the same time, it's arguably not up to the standards of a phone that sells itself on its camera, such as the iPhone 11 Pro or the Pixel 4. A gaming phone lives or dies by its performance, and the Asus ROG Phone 3 has a lot to offer in this category. Let's get the easy stuff out of the way first. Everyday tasks are effortless on the ROG Phone 3. Social media, calls, texts and so forth pose no challenge to a system that's geared for gaming, so navigation is quick and responsive. Videos are smooth and colourful, and if there's an app that the phone can't handle, I couldn't find it. One thing that consistently impressed me about the Asus ROG Phone 3 was its battery life. It can last up to 14 hours, which is amazing. In spite of a few shortcomings, the ROG Phone 3 accomplishes almost exactly what it sets out to do. It runs demanding Android games beautifully and gives users a set of intuitive, flawlessly integrated tools to optimize their experiences. Buy Guide Firstly, resolution. Resolution is an easy one. The higher it is, the better. Sometimes, instead of the dimensions of a screen, manufacturers use terms like Quad High Definition, QHD, or Ultra High Definition. Those terms, while being descriptive at their core, are mostly just marketing lingo. What display type your phone or tablet uses can have a big effect on color reproduction and battery consumption. Secondly, CPU. The latest mobile chipsets use octa-core CPUs, and not all those cores translate to raw performance. When looking at a tablet or phone, you'll typically see that the CPU has two different speed ratings. This is usually abbreviated into something that's not precisely comprehensible at first glance. And thirdly, RAM. Random access memory or RAM specs are a lot easier to deal with than CPUs. RAM is basically how much data your device can have active and ready to go at once. For gaming, this means textures, level geometry, character models and more. The more RAM you have, the less your phone has to load from flash memory and the more intensive the graphics can be. Since a mobile device's graphics processing unit shares the same RAM pool as the rest of your phone, the more RAM you have, the better. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.